Hi, today I have the pleasure of showing you a 42 foot travel trailer. This is a wheelchair accessible unit. Uh, it is a mobility unit, it does come with a lift. This unit also features three air conditioners that are 15,000 BTU uh, with heat pumps. Uh, it's got a 20 gallon water heater, residential appliances, uh, a park model style toilet, uh, front upper and lower bunks, and a rear queen bed slide. Let's get started on the outside. You'll notice here that we have uh, two 30 pound LP bottles. Uh, they're actually inside the LP bottle covers there. We've got a power tongue jack with an LED light on it. Because this unit has the uh, wheelchair lift on it, we actually put two batteries on there. And one's a hard wire directly to the wheelchair to support itself, and that's the battery disconnect for that. And then we have another one that goes uh, directly to the coach. This unit features the aluminum version. Uh, so you're gonna have uh, a metal unit here with 030 metal, so that's the thickness of the metal. Uh, we can also do fiberglass on there if you choose to have fiberglass option. Uh, you can see here, just a quick view of the curbside. You got two slide outs here. You got a queen bed slide there in the rear, and then you got a big living room slide here. Uh, on the slide out here, you can see that uh, it is a rack and pinion slide, nice and big. It is an undercoated floor, so you don't have any weathering that gets to your underneath side of your floor. We feature a, a bulb seal slide seal system. You can see how it goes all the way up to the top there. Solid sidewalls here. Uh, those are glass. Uh, you got your 8800 series Max Air Flow windows. And then up there you can see that we use a two inch downspout over the slide out room as well as the corner of the unit up there. So that way you have uh, double water control over your slide areas and then that also acts if you want to put uh, slide toppers on later. It's already prepped for it. This customer is going to leave it uh, in a permanent spot. So this one has uh, just a crank down stabilizer jacks in the rear. We do offer electric corner jacks. Moving down the side of the unit here. This one has uh, three 6,000 pound axles on it. G-rated tires or E depending on the size of the axle. Outside electric here for the back by the termination system. We even put uh, an outside compartment door here that you can get to. This actually goes underneath the bed. So you have as much outside storage as possible in a trailer. And it also has the uh, magnetic door locks or door latches. So it'll hold the door open for you. Coming around the end here, uh, we do a few things that are special with our uh, travel trailers. Uh, you have your city, city water hook up there. 50 amp service here is standard. We do another outlet back here. Uh, satellite and cable prep. That's all standard, but what's neat is in here, if you ever have, uh, you know, to put your unit away for storage or whatever, we have a battery disconnect that's inside this compartment. And so is all your other electrical things. So if you ever have an electrical issue and your slides are in, you can still get out here and uh, and get to it. It's all nice and clean in the back here. And that's covered with a door. You have LED lights uh, for your tail lights and running lights. This customer chose to have the diamond plate bumper cover. Your bumper is rated at 500 pounds of storage on the back. I get you a little good view of the rear end here. Coming around to the camping side, notice how there's no awning. Customer didn't want to have an awning because they're going to put their own awning on when they get to the spot they're going to keep it at. This is a 40 inch wide door. That's where your lift is at. We'll get to the lift here in just a minute. Get to the jacks on the other side here. Your tires. Uh, this is your 40,000 BTU furnace exhaust. Another electrical outlet over here. And then this is your uh, outside access to your 20 gallon residential water heater. So we got uh, red and blue PEX, uh, PEX lines, shut off valves, and we also use uh, brass fittings. Uh, 
a lot of the competitors have gone to just plastic. Uh, we choose to still use the brass. Then here you have a 32 inch entry door, which we'll go in here and do a quick uh, walk through on the inside. Let's go on the inside of this 42 foot wheelchair accessible unit. This is where uh, we go in here. So you see we got the uh, solid step out front, the aluminum step that actually folds up into the unit. Nice and solid when you walk on it. So I'm going to close this door so the, uh, front, uh, the light cuts down. So we're inside the unit now, there you can see your kitchen sink. Lots of storage, and because this customer's in a wheelchair, we move all of our uh, handles and toggle switches down to the lower below the, the countertop there. Easily accessible. So this one, you can get your slide outs open, your light switches on. This is their entertainment center that they wanted. You put a 55 inch TV in there, overhead storage. This doorway here goes to the front bunks. They wanted to have bunks in the trailer. You got shirt closets back here. Storage drawers down below. Shirt or, uh, storage up top. Then you have uh, 36 by 80 beds here, so they're a little bit bigger than twins. Yes, we use uh, regular inner spring mattresses. Even for our bunk beds, we got storage down below the bunk bed. Got a side table with uh, hookups for your cable and TV. Got an LED light uh, at the head of every bed. And then this room actually has its own 15,000 BTU ducted roof air conditioner with a heat pump. So that would be the front bunk. Here you're going to have your 80-inch uh, tri-fold uh, tri sofa. This is a tall unit, so this is a 96-inch interior ceiling height, 7-foot tall slide boxes. And notice how we put cabinets across the whole width of that slide-out room, so you have lots of storage here. Hardwood valances are an upgraded option. They chose it for this one. Egress window. Table and four chairs is an option. In each chair you have storage area here. That's from the front. Oh, they got it for the travel position, so sorry about that. But there's storage in there. You have upper upper cabinets here as well in the kitchen area. 20 inch microwave with a hood and fan. A 20 inch uh, apartment style stove, freestanding stove. Notice how all the switches are down below. You got storage down below here, underneath the kitchen sink. You got a 16 cube residential refrigerator. Storage above that. Here's the second air conditioner, 15,000 BTU rough air with a heat pump on it. They actually put three of them in this unit. They're going to be living in Texas. You have your stackable full-size splendid washer and dryer. They chose the residential toilet in here. You got lots of stores behind the, the toilet for all your, your linens and extra toilet paper and whatnot. So lots of storage in here. This is a roll-in, roll-out shower. Again, we're all one-piece fiberglass showers. You got your curtain there to uh, cover them up for privacy. But again, everything's at a lower level so uh, a wheelchair person can get in and out on their own. Little grab bars there for ease of moving in and out. This is uh, our bathroom sink. Notice how we have a, a large 
uh, residential sink and faucet. That's all porcelain. And then you notice the underneath the sink here, we call this a roll under sink. So you can roll underneath the sink uh, in a wheelchair and still brush your teeth. You got uh, cabinet medicine cabinet above there with three different uh, mirrors on it. And again, all the switches are lower. Then back here, you're going to come to the master bedroom. This is your Braun lift system. It's in the travel position. I wanted to show you the inside of it first so we can see what it looks like and you still have plenty of room to get around when the unit is completely in. Here you have a 60 by 74 queen bed. So you can see uh, you got lots of room at the end. You still got your wood balances. Still got a lot of overhead storage there. Outlets at each side. Then you have drawers along the bottom side of your closet. There's four drawers there. Lots of hanging uh, closet and uh, above shelf. Then you also have folded clothes shelves over here on the side. You have a little dresser here with three drawers and a cabinet door. As you can see there's lots of storage in there as well. It's got your satellite uh, and outlet for a TV. More overhead shelves, storage cabinets. This is your power center for the lift. So we're going to head back outside and I'll show you the lift system. Give you a little view of everything as we're walking back outside to operate the lift system. Oh, I forgot to tell you about your uh, uh, pull-out sprayer upgraded faucet. Single lever, double stainless steel bowls, and get uh, full-size plates in there. All right, let's go back outside and we'll operate this uh, lift system here. So again, this is a 48-inch entry door, so you have lots of room to operate a chair. Get you a good look at the big door. You got a light, so if you're coming in at night, you got plenty of light there. You're also going to have strobe lights on the broad lift system itself. But this is what it looks like uh, in the in position. Then you get a little power center down here. You just turn the power on. And then you have a remote here. You just unhook. Stand back and we're going to hit the uh, unfold position. So you can see how it's unfolding there. And now you just take your remote and push it down. It'll all start to come down. This is actually to load and unload, obviously. So once the unit gets all the way to the ground, it should flip over the bottom lever. Just like that. So your person can uh, wheel themselves up. I'll set the remote down for a minute and show these strobe lights. So you have strobe lights on either side if you're hooking up at night. Point it right down into where you're going. You got a seat belt here. You can strap them in. Wheel them right on, straight forward. Strap them in. They got grab handles here to hold on to. That's what it looks like in the out position. So now we're gonna bring it up, like we're bringing in the uh, person in a chair. So we're just gonna take our remote and hit the up button after they're all secure. You can see how it just uh, slowly brings them up. 
And this is rated for a power chair that's heavier than uh, a regular chair. You saw the lever flip down. So now they can uh, slide in uh, straight forward, get themselves inside the unit, and then uh, just hit the remote to uh, fold, and the whole unit will fold itself up now. And now you have your person on the inside. So you just put your remote back here, a little hole that it sits in. You want to shut your power button off when you're in for the night. And then we'll just close the door. So that's how you operate the Braun lift system on our wheelchair accessible unit. This again, this is a 42 foot travel trailer. Wheelchair accessible unit, three air conditioners, 20 gallon water heater, residential appliances, dual batteries, twin 30 pound LP tanks, two big slides and bunks in the front. So if you'd like to know more information or if you'd like me to custom build a mobility handicap trailer for you, you can give me, Rob Reed, a call at 574-387 six two five two or you can email me at rv pro rob reed at gmail.com i appreciate you watching the video and look forward to hearing from you soon